Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new here, I'm Jessica from Jessica Lynn Original Studios. Here I combine family adventures, creativity, and a little bit of magic. Today we're gonna be exploring a hidden gem right in the middle of downtown Milwaukee, Discovery World. Located on the beautiful lake right across the street from the stunning art museum, Discovery World is an amazing place where learning and fun go hand in hand. So grab your family and let's dive into this exciting experience together. So Discovery World is in, uh, filled with engaging, hands-on exhibits that are perfect for children of all ages, toddlers to teens. There were even things I was completely so excited to learn. Um, the museum itself features a lot of interactive exhibits, a lot of technology, and then you can it's surrounded by Lake Michigan. So the younger kids are gonna love the exploration station where they can play with water, build structures, and experiment with simple machines. The older kids are gonna like the tech lab where they get to dive into the world of robotics and coding. There's also Living on the Edge, which talks about the ecosystem. And there's even an amazing aquarium that we're gonna take a look at in a minute. So Discovery World is truly designed to be very hands-on and educational. Um, they want the kids to play around and learn. And it's a really great way to really enjoy a family outing together. Now this was so cool. You actually programmed what you wanted to cut and the robot would take your foam, put it on the machine, cut it out, and then when it was done, it would actually send it off to you. Uh, the kids absolutely loved it. If you're thinking about doing this, make sure you do it right away in the first thing in the morning because the line gets very long and the machine only can cut it so fast. And this is part of the Great Lakes exhibit you can take a look at. Um, what's really cool about this is to keep the kids engaged, there's different buttons and you can make different things happen. So you can see the whole ecosystem, uh, rain, you can see thunder, you can see lightning. Um, there are animals that are uh, supposed to be at each of the different lakes. Again, we live on the Great Lake. This is the view when you turn around. This is downtown Milwaukee. Um, it is absolutely stunning. Um, I don't know if they do it anymore, but they used to do like a movie night outside where you could go check that out. Definitely look at their calendar because they have a lot of events coming up this summer. Um, other thing too is if you're looking for a place to get married or to have an event, they do have two beautiful locations that you can actually rent out that space. Now this area was my favorite. It was the Aquarium of the Discovery World. It is truly a highlight of this museum. Um, you get a chance to explore the rich biodiversity of Lake, of the Great Lakes and beyond. Um, as soon as you walk in, you're greeted by stunning tanks filled with native fish, turtles, and other aquatic creatures. The most exciting part of the aquarium, again, you can get up close to these fish species. And there were um, lake sturgeon, whitewater fish, um, musky. There's also an interactive tank in this area where the kids can go ahead and very much like Finding Nemo uh, or Finding Dory, same thing where you can touch them. Right here, beautiful waterfall that falls right into this huge tank. Um, but the kids can go ahead and actually touch the fish. And what I like about it was that the kids, uh, they actually had two people there to explain different questions the kids had about each of the different fish. Um, there were also stingrays, which was really cool. The kids had a lot of questions on those. Um, if you're fascinated by the deep waters, there's also a tropical reef. 
where you can go on a journey through colorful coral reefs. Uh, there's going to be tropical fish. There's some eels. There's a couple sharks. Uh, the aquarium itself is designed to inspire curiosity about marine life. And the way the exhibit is set up is to encourage vis visitors to have a conversation um, about ecosystems, about the water that these animals rely on. So whether you're watching the fish glide through the water or learning about these habitats, it's an unbelievable experience. And as we came around the backside of this tank, I noticed somebody put a huge, there's this huge goldfish. Look at this thing. It was as big as some of the muskie. I mean, I would say it was bigger than the size of my hand. And he was just hanging out. And so, of course, all the kids had lots of questions um, about the goldfish. And I can only imagine, you know, how that small, that was like probably one of those little feeder goldfish you could get at the store. And then he grew to the size of his tank. And this is that area I was talking about where the kids can actually get up close and personal. And you can see they can carefully reach in and touch the stingrays, which was so cool. The kids absolutely loved it. And the people that were there had lots of knowledge of these animals. And so every question they had, they had a quick response. And the kids loved it just because they could ask so many questions. Now, if you go up a floor from here all the way up to the top floor, there is this really cool boat. The kids all love it. Feels like they're on a huge sailboat. Either side of it, there's lots of glass windows so you can see all of downtown. Looking at the back of the boat, you can see their summer fest. Uh, and that's where they have, it's a huge festival. Um, definitely Google that if you've never been to Summerfest. It is fun. It is three weekends, four days each weekend. Uh, of huge concerts, lots of small stages with also lots of bands. So really fun experience down here in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Now I'm just going to take a walk to the front of the boat real quick. But one of the things that I love about Discovery World is that it hosts a variety of special events throughout the year to make it even more exciting. So they have science workshops, they have hands-on fairs, they have seasonal celebration and guest speakers. Um, there's always something unique happening. Now, this is a very small quarters down there, so they only let a couple kids down there at a time. They also offer themed events, like a Shark Week inspired, holidays, um, different extra activities, demonstrations. There's also a really cool where you draw a picture, it gets scanned, and then the animal that you color actually shows up on the screen. So there are just so many different adventures that you can have with your family. I would say it's probably a little more than a half a day adventure. So this would be a great one to head to right away in the morning and then maybe bring a lunch, uh, go sit outside, you know, out by the lake during the summer and then go back in and finish. Um, it's really, it's, it's really fun. It's a very unique place. Uh, it used to be in a different location when I was a kid, actually used to be inside of a library. And it's just fun to have a place where the kids can really learn hands-on. So I want to just say, I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me on this incredible adventure to Discovery World. I hope you enjoyed the hands-on exhibits, the aquarium, and all of the fun this place has to offer. If you want to discover more hidden gems like this from family-friendly spots and exciting destinations, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss a moment of our adventures. We've got so much more to share, and I'd love for you to be part of this journey. So go ahead, join the family, and let's keep exploring this world together, one adventure at a time. Until next time, I hope that you have an absolutely wonderful day. And don't forget, get out there, go make those memories with your family. Time goes by entirely too fast not to. So take care, everyone. Be sure to go check out our other videos. We have a lot of them on the Wisconsin Dells, Disney, and more. Take care, everybody.